Ready? Hey. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to KDH News. Of course, I'm Ricky Green, live on the scene here in the KDH studios, and we're also live on Facebook. So thank you so much for taking the time to join me and my guest today on Entertainment Spotlight here in the KDH studios. She's someone that you're very familiar with. Her name is... Dr. Carrie Ann Zamora. Welcome to the studio. <laughs> thank you, Ricky. And welcome to the show once again, Carrie. Uh, Ricky, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. We're delighted to have you. Let's get right into it, Carrie. Sure thing. Let's talk about a little bit about who is Carrie Ann, Dr. Carrie Ann Zamora. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's such a loaded question, right? Um, so who is Dr. Carrie Ann Zamora? I always say that I'm a social worker at heart. This is what um, I'm social work centric, and so everything around me surrounds social work. I am a transplant, and so I am originally from Dominica, my family, and I migrated here when I was about 11 years old, and um, uh, married to the military, traveled all over the world for a number of years, and settled in Texas about 12 years ago. And so I'm a university professor. I'm a professor at the University of Mary Hardin Baylor, um, right there in Belton. And I am also a f an award-winning filmmaker, yes. a best-selling author, yes. um, as well as a playwright. Um, and everything that I do, again, is social work centric. My master's degree and my PhD are, are in social work. So everything I touch has some type of social work centered message. Very impressive, and thank you for <laughs> that that short bio. Yeah. Nevertheless, let's talk a little bit about your education. Now, you talked about a master's program. Are you, right. Are you a PhD? I am. I am. So I have my bachelor's from the University of Maryland, and that is in education and psychology. And I have a master's um, in social work from the University of Southern California, as well as my PhD in uh, from from Southern California again in social work. And how long in the area? I have been in this area for 12 years, but I have been in the field of social work for about 20 years. And what is it that you do at Mary as a professor? What subject matter do you teach? Right. So I am in the School of Social Work, and so I teach the social work education classes. I'm also the director of field education, and so I'm responsible for getting our field students um, their internship. And so the senior year of the social work program, all of our students spend a year in an internship and it's my responsibility to match the students with good internships and prepare them for their, their licensure exam um, in social work and the life of a social worker. You are responsible for a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're responsible for an upcoming production. Yes. Let's talk about that. Yes, most definitely. One of the things I really love about University of Mary Hardin Baylor is um, last year we were invited to do a stage play for Black History Month called A Prodigal. Um, and then this year the invitation went back out again for me to bring my theater company back to University of Mary Hardin Baylor. And so we have a stage play called By the Name of Mama's Daughters um, that will be uh, at University of Mary Hardin Baylor, the Sue and Frank Mayborn. Performing Arts Center, and that will be next week, February 17th and 18th. Okay, awesome. What can people expect when they go out to see a mama's daughter? Well, mama's daughter, again, I go back to the heart of social work, right? And so it is a very family and faith centric play. And so it explores the relationship between mothers and daughters. It explores family dynamics, family secrets. We have two amazing gospel artists who are coming from the East Coast to be a part of this production. And that is uh, Tasha Page Lockhart. Is that from Tyler Perry? Yeah, she is awesome. from the Tyler Perry yeah. plays and movies. And um, she was also the winner of Sunday's Best. She's a Grammy Award wow. winner. She's a Stella Award winner. Um, and so she's an amazing actress and, um, and, and, and songstress as well. And then Lisa Page Brooks, who plays her mother, is her actual biological mother from the Gospel Sensation group Witness. And then we have some amazing local um, uh, talents here that's going to be in the play as well. Uh, Roland Stu Hype is in the play. 
and um, Tootie Hall. We know them as Aunt Pearlie and Uncle Riley in this area. Um, we also have Tasha Sherman, who's a praise and worship leader at Christian House of Prayer. And then we have Monique Barsh um, and several other artists. My good friend, Amp Roscoe. And Amp Roscoe. Who can forget <laughs> Amp Roscoe? You know, Ricky, one of the things I really like about the production company, um, Kazemore um, Enterprises and Kazemore Entertainment, which is my production company, is that we work with veterans. Mm, I will say as 90% of the people who are a part of what we do are veterans and they served right here in this community on Fort Hood um, and one of the things that they have said is that they find um, theater to be very therapeutic for them mm, and so we definitely utilize our veteran again social work centric right finding yeah. something for our veterans yeah. to do um, so that they do feel um, that they can be a part of the community and they can do that through theater and I believe only someone like you can attract that type of talent. So congratulations <laughs> on the cast. Congratulations on the upcoming production of A Mama's Daughter. Yes. Now, you talked about it being a family-oriented play, but about a mother and a daughter. Yes. So does that mean families can come, but they can also bring their fathers and their yes, sons? Yes, definitely bring the fathers and the sons because we explore, although it's called Mama's Daughters, yeah. it is family-centric. And this is a clean play where you can bring your entire family. You can enjoy music. You can enjoy a great story with a plot twist. Mm -hmm. You know, I like a little drama, Ricky, so yeah, there's going to yeah. be a plot <laughs> twist. And so, yeah, you can definitely bring your entire family. One of the things I enjoy endeavor to do is to create an atmosphere where you can have the children, grandchildren, grandma, and you can all see a production that you're comfortable with mm -hmm. um, and just really bring back some good, wholesome family um, stories to mm -hmm. the stage. Now, I guess since it is a wholesome family story, mm -hmm. talk about the emotion associated with it. It's one of those oh plays gosh. that'll have you laugh and have you cry. Most and definitely. Then, <laughs> all of that. Yeah, so most definitely. You will definitely laugh in this play. You may shed some tears. Um, you're definitely going to want to call your mama, um, <laughs> take her out to lunch, call your daughters. This is a great play for girlfriends, um, just families, right? Anybody who has a relation, who, anybody who is in relationship, whether it is a friendship, mm -hmm. a marriage relationship, parent-child relationship, mm -hmm. um, you definitely want to come out and see that play because it is, again, family centric but it is relationship centric now is this the play that took you less than 48 hours to write oh my gosh and you I heard about know. that yeah. <laughs> it is that is the play you know I've been tossing the idea around and I began writing about three o'clock in the afternoon and um, mm -hmm. I was talking to one of my good friends Nicole because so I am an only child and so I don't have siblings so I mm -hmm. love studying sibling relationships and I'm um, just talking to some of my friends and the intricacies of the relationship between their siblings I just thought wow and I just started writing and about one o'clock in the morning I was done 98 pages Wow yeah Wow. Talk about the inspiration behind writing Mama's Daughter. Again, I guess oh, it was just about the, it the, really, the background from your social work. Right. So it is the background from my social work, my um, experience and education in social work. But it's also, again, just watching the intricacies in different relationships, mm -hmm. looking at parent-child relationships, looking at uh, just the different dynamics that we have as individuals, um, how we communicate with each other, how we feel, hidden messages. And then what do secrets do to family relation, um, um, relationships? And then also also looking at different generations, the way generations communicate, right? So currently we have five generations in, the, in uh, alive or actually in the work world. How do the Gen Zers or the millennials communicate with boomers sure. and Gen Xers? So those are sure. all of the relationships um, that we explore. And I mean, it is, it is a hilarious play. So you will laugh. You will cry. You will cry, Ricky. Um, and then you're going to laugh again. You're going to get up. You will find a character that you identify with. Um, and I think you, you're definitely going to come out and have a lot of fun and enjoy great music. Great music. Now, we don't want to give too much away because we could talk about it all day long. Yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm sure the people on Facebook as well as our audience are m even more excited. So we're going to move on. because Yes. 
just days after that, you have another production uh, going on. Yes. And it's a charity? Yes, it is. Talk so, about So that. Mama's Daughter, actually, Ricky, it's our annual fundraiser. I see. I see. And so it will be a scholarship um, fundraiser for the Association of Black Students gotcha. as well as the Social Work Club. And so partial proceeds from that play goes right back to the students at UMHB. UMHB. Yes. And, then and the tell us what UMHB stands for. University of Mary Hardin Baylor. Okay, located in Belton. Where? It is in Belton, Texas. Okay. The stage play plays February 17th and 18th, and you can get your tickets on Eventbrite. You can also get your tickets on kzamore.com, and if you actually go to the university, which is an absolutely beautiful university, right there at the Performing Arts Center, you can go to the Ticketmaster and purchase paper tickets. I know people love paper tickets. Can I let you know where they can get paper tickets in town? <laughs> right. right. So you can get paper tickets at Inspired by Hair Designs with Ms. D. Garcia. You can also get paper tickets at Durant Hair Studios with Mookie Durant. And you can get paper tickets with Miss Galen Bivens at House of Beauty on Rancier. So we have four locations that you can get paper tickets. And then you can also go online on eventbrite.com and kzamore.com for your online tickets. This is definitely a production you do not want to miss. Of course, all of these locations, they're sure to be sold out. <laughs> so you get your tickets soon. Of course, A Mama's Daughter happening February 17th and 18th. Yes at the University of Mary Hardin Baylor, put on by Dr. Carrie Zamora herself. Mm -hmm. And and there's a, the following week. The right? following week, <laughs> yes. She's got some more coming up that we're going to talk about. Let's go ahead and go right into You want to go? Okay, let's just dive let's into go, it. Yes, yes. So for the following week, um, for the City of Colleen, our Black History program for the City of Colleen, we're going to end Black History Month with a play called Cry Freedom. Right. And what and date is that? Cry Freedom is the 25th okay. of February, which is the last um, Saturday of the month in February, and this is um, partial proceeds have been provided from the Arts Commission, the City of Colleen Arts Commission. And so this is definitely an Arts Commission production. And um, Cry Freedom explores a warrior's journey through captivity, um, through the Atlantic the slave trade, to the diaspora into freedom, wow. his final cry for freedom. And this is a very avant-garde play that we do differently. This play is done through dance and monologues. And I'm so excited. We have a choreographer coming from North Carolina as well as from Chicago. And we have local dance teams here. We have approximately 40 dancers in this. So mm -hmm. I'm very, very excited. Coming from Austin, we have Fire Dance Academy and then also Kara International Dance Academy based right here in um, in Colleen. And the star of this play is Will Molion. And if you've ever seen Mr. Molion on stage, Absolutely. you know that he is going to leave his heart on the floor with some extreme drama. And so I'm very excited um, to see what we do with this production because it is just so very different. It's very Broadway-esque. And so I think, um, and I mean, people have asked me, so what can we expect from this play? I am a lover of Alvin Ailey. Ah, and this will be very... The um, dance theater. The dance theater. Mm -hmm. And so this will remind you of Alvin Ailey's piece, Revelations, ah. and which is an incredible, incredible piece. And so the entire production comes alive through dance and these monologues. Can I give you a sneak peek? Give it to me. I'm in it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. We're, we're, we're excited to well, see I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance. So you okay. get to see me. And, you know, my roots were actually yes, in dance. That's what I was just about to mention. Your, 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 your first love. My first love, yeah. My was roots were in dance. I've you know, I noticed, I don't know if you know who Bernadette Stannis is. Of course I know who Bernadette Stannis is. Well, She's you, amazing. Yeah, Thelma from Good Times. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Her first love was dance. Exactly. She didn't start out as an actress. Mm -hmm. She was a dancer. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's very interesting that, that you both have that connection. Yes. And so we look forward to your additional gift and talent in dance in this play. Because I know you're in Raising in the Sun and a lot of your other productions. Oh, my gosh. But yes. That's for another day. <laughs> that's for another but day. But you talked about the star right. of Cry Freedom. Mm -hmm. And in my words, knowing him personally, mm -hmm. he is truly a warrior. Yeah, and that's is. what this play about is a 
a warrior in captivity. Would yes. that be fair to say? A warrior in captivity and it's just um, done so very, very differently, I think. Um, I have, I've had the opportunity, the privilege to work with Mr. Molion on multiple projects and he always gives 100%. Oh, absolutely. So I'm super excited well. to work with him again. So, and then we also have Victor Hall on this project and we're going to see some sneak things from Victor Hall. I've had the opportunity to work with Victor on several projects as well. So um, we have some really great guys in here. Um, and uh, I just can't wait for you to see the costume in and everything that we do with this piece, Cry Freedom. Again, a very different piece, so don't expect a traditional Kazemore set, but definitely expect dancers flying through the air. I will yeah. expect it. I'm excited. You know, KDH News and me will be on the scene. Yes. And <laughs> covering the story to be able to look back on and see what accomplishments you made in this particular production. But mm -hmm. I do have one personal question to ask uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> when do you ever sleep? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> With you all know, you have going on, how do you do it, Carrie? Well, you know, I, so I always say it's not me. I thank God for, um, for gifting me with everything he Amen. has gifted me, but it takes a team. Mm -hmm. And so I can never take the credit for it. It truly takes a team to put it together. And I have some amazing people that I work with who keep it going so that I can do my, 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 my other job, right? And so I have an amazing team of not just actors, but back office assistants. And I just want to give them a shout out. So I have awesome. the team of Keisha, Keisha, and Keisha. I have three really? Keisha. Yes. <laughs> Don't call them KKK, whatever no, you do. <laughs> I do have an amazing uh, team of Keisha, Keisha, and Keisha um, that helped me. I also have Nicole, who is amazing. My son, Andrew, does a lot of background work. Um, Didi Jose has also helped me out a lot. And just wonderful people like Lavina Sabri, who is one of our sponsors. Right, and right. Dory Collins and Cultivate Academy is another sponsor. So I have amazing, I think I have about amazing team of about 12 people who work the back wow. office to ensure that everything keeps on running from marketing um, to, you know, different forms of production and even rehearsals. Um, and so I'm very, very thankful sure. for those people who have been assigned to me um, to really assist me so that I am able to do um, everything else that I do. So I would never take credit and say it's me. Sure. I will say that it's a team effort. Without the team, it wouldn't work. Well, that's very humble. <laughs> what you do is very noble. Thank you. Um, I will say that the fact that you answered my question, mm -hmm. but it speaks volume about who you are because there are a lot of people who aspire to do a lot of things, but they have to have that team. And if yeah. obviously you have a team that believes in your dream, Amen. they believe in your vision. So congratulations to your team and to all of your success. And so you mentioned two of the cast members yes. and Cry Freedom <laughs> who are actually here in the studio. Ah, yes. <laughs> so once again, thank you so much for joining me here on KDH News Entertainment Spotlight. I wish you much continued success in your upcoming productions, in your life, as well as in your endeavors. And promise me this won't be the last time because we got a lot coming up that you're doing still. We have a lot coming up. So I have to come <laughs> so back and talk regular. to you. Oh, yeah. You're going to be a regular. I love it. I love this relationship with KDH. So thank awesome. you so much. And I look forward awesome. to more time um, here on the podcast yes. with KDH. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you, Ricky. And All thank right. you for staying tuned in to KDH News. Of course, I'm Ricky Green. I've been joined by Dr. Kerry Zamora with Zamora. Mora Enterprises, who will be putting on a production of A Mama's Daughter, that is February 17th and 18th at the University of Mary Harden Baylor in Belton, Texas. What time? What time? The show is at 7.30. 7.30. Yes. Show up on time and get your tickets on time because you may not get to see it. Also, let's rehash uh, a Cry for Freedom. Cry Freedom, February 25th at the Colleen Arts and Activity Center. That's going to be downtown Colleen. And the show begins at 6.30. Curtains up at 5.30. Get your tickets. Thank you again. And thank you. We'll be right back with Will Molion and Mr. Harris, uh, Victor, Victor Hall, Hall <laughs> who are both stars and who are both in Cry for Freedom. We'll be right back right after this. Thanks, Thank Ricky. you. <laughs>